guys, today's reading is from Mark chapter 6, verses 1 to 6. Jesus left there and went to his hometown, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were amazed. Where did this man get these things? they asked. What is this wisdom that has been given him, that he even does miracles? Isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son, and brother of James, Joseph, Judas and Simon? Aren't his sisters here with us? And they took offence at him. Jesus said to them, Only in his hometown, among his relatives and in his own house is a prophet without honour. He could not do any miracles there, except lay his hands on a few sick people and heal them. And he was amazed at their lack of faith. Okay, this is a good opportunity to pause the video, open your Bible and have another read of Mark chapter 6, 1 to 6 and see what God might be saying to you through it. <laughs> At first, Jesus' own family were really sceptical about him. Um, his closest friends didn't really um, know who he was and what he was about. And I think this is because they'd seen him grow up, they'd seen him as a toddler, they'd seen him with his brothers and sisters um, playing outside together. He had a normal family and so why suddenly did he think he was so special and he could talk to them and tell them about God? So I think people really struggled with that and I think that can be true of us when we're with our own family and with the people that have seen us grow up. It's really hard sometimes to keep going with our faith and to be the person that God has called us to be because that involves changing and people think oh but you messed up so many times before and so it can be really tough but I want to encourage you to keep going and keep following Jesus and keep expressing your faith explaining your faith to those closest to you and in for Jesus family um, James his brother became the leader of the church in Jerusalem and we think that James even died for his faith he was a martyr so James completely um, turned around, he even wrote a book in the Bible um, all about Jesus. Um, so James' life was completely changed and the same can be true of our closest friends and family as well. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we want to follow you and we want to be changed and be different and that can be really tough, especially with our family. It can be hard to be patient and loving towards them, especially when we're all stuck in. But Lord, I pray that you would help us to be changed by you, that you would fill us with your spirit and you would help us to keep going, even when that's really tough. Amen. Hope that encourages you and see you soon.